good morning, sunny San Luis Obispo, and happy Monday. Looks like someone doesn't have a case of the moon days. Uh-oh. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the moon days. <laughs> Must be all that blue sky out there. Hey, Callie? Don't get ahead of yourself there, Cal. The weather segment isn't up for a few more minutes. Well, good call. Let's get started with the news. As many of you know, President Trump is trying to appoint a new judge for the Supreme Court with only 42 days, 11 hours, 36 minutes, and 54 seconds left until the midterm election. But who's counting? During the end of President Obama's term, he tried and failed to appoint Merrick Garland nine months before his term was up. Trump is trying to appoint someone less than two months before the election. The judge Trump wants to appoint the most is Noel Francisco. He is also in favor of appointing Gregory Katzass. Whoever gets appointed will be taking the <laughs> Whoever gets appointed will be taking the place of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who in her final words told her granddaughter, My most fervent wish is that I will not be replaced until a new president is installed. Back to you, Callie. In local news, the election for mayor intensifies. It intensifies. Heidi Harmon was the previous mayor, and she is looking to get reelected. The people running against her are Cherise Sweeney, Sandra Marshall Eminger, and Donald Hedrick. If you walk around San Luis Obispo right now, you will see signs in people's yard that have Heidi or Cherise's name on them. Harmon and Sweeney are the two main candidates. It is going to be one of them. Harmon believes in keeping people safe and supporting small businesses, while Sweeney wants to help the homeless people and improve and change law enfor enforcement. The two candidates have similar ideals and are both Democrats and are both good candidates for mayor. So must be a welcoming city, Harmon stated, and she is certainly a welcoming can candidate. We will see who wins the next election. San Luis Obispo votes from October 5th to October 19th. Remember to vote because every vote counts. Now let's head over to Landon for the sports update. Landon? Hello, my name is Landon the Sparker Barker and today I'm going to be telling you about the sports update. James White was not playing on the Patriots team yesterday because his mom and dad got in a car crash. His mom was okay, but his dad died from the crash. His mother's name was Lisa White. His father's name was Tyrone White. I mean, what a brutal crash. For the 49ers news, even though the 49ers had a great win yesterday, four more superstar, superstars got injured, including Nick Bosa, Jimmy Garoppolo, Solomon Thomas, and Raheem Moster, and three people on their team was all already injured. The 49ers team and the coaching staff said that it may be, have been the due for the sticky turf grass. And the unfortunate thing for the 49ers is, they, is that they are playing at the same stadium, stadium against the Giants next week. Stay safe and healthy, boys. In basketball, Anthony Davis made an amazing game-winning shot to beat the Nuggets in a semifinal game to make the Lakers one step closer to be, being the, in the finals. Let's take a look at the moment. As well, a lot of time here. 2.1 seconds remaining. Denver a foul to give. Jokic trying to disrupt Rondo. He puts it in. Here's Davis, 4-3 in the win. Oh, it's good! Anthony Davis has won it for the Lakers! Back to you, Cal. Wow, thanks, Sparker. I couldn't have made a better shot myself. Now, let's head over for, to Milo for a weather and fire update. Milo? Currently, there are 27 big wildfires in California that firefighters are trying to protect us from. There are 19,000 firefighters helping us contain these fires. The wildfires are spreading in the dry, warm weather of California. 
we are close to containing the Shackleford fire that started on September 9th. It is now 98% contained. A big fire we have only contained a third of is the Snow Fire in Riverside. It is over 6,000 acres. Now, how are the fires affecting the air quality in San Luis Obispo? Well, air quality today is good in general slow, but eastern slow has some moderate air quality. If you live in San Luis Obispo, this is a good day to stretch your legs and get outside. Tomorrow, air quality is predicted to be tolerable, not as good as today. It is a nice day today. It is going to be 75 in the afternoon and 60 during the evening. Tonight, it will not be chilly or hot at 58 degrees. Keep a rain jacket on hand because there is a slim chance of rain today, ranging from 5 to 10 percent. There is wind today. Do not worry though, it will not blow you over. The wind is only 10 miles per hour. Today is the last day of summer, so enjoy this nice day. You will be longing for it soon. Back to you, Callie. Wow. Sounds like we just might live on the happiest place on earth. Now we have a special segment on the legacy of RBG from a man who's closely followed her life's work, Ollie. The death of Ruth Ginsburg is very sad, especially at this time of year. She was 87 years old, serving as Supreme Court Justice when she died. She impacted the world by fighting for gender equality and women's rights. One example of this is in 1972, Ginsburg co-founded the Women's Right Project which participated in over 300 gender discrimination cases by 1974. Women will have true equality when men share with them the responsibility of bringing up the next generation, she said. She died from a cancer called pancreatic cancer, which is very not good for you. This is some of the most heartbreaking news for America right now. Off that depressing note, Let's head back to Cal. Well, thanks, Ollie. For our final segment this morning, we're going deep into the unknown, where we have our resident animal expert, Crazel Hazel, who is actually underwater interviewing a man who has befriended an octopus in the oceans of Africa. Crazel? Hi, James. my name is Crazel. Yes. I'm the animal expert, and I'm here with, what, what's your name? Um, Jim. Jim, the octopus expert. And he has a. How did you get the octopus friend? Um. Well, I was thinking about the ocean, so I swam. I was swimming in it, and then I found an octopus, and the octopus really, really liked me. So we became friends. What did he say? Um, I like you, Hazel. <laughs> and, um, how, <laughs> um, how did you, what's your octopus friend's name? Um, Betsy. Is it a boy or a girl? Um, it's a girl. What type of octopus is she? Um, purple octopus, a purple striped octopus. And um, can its nickname be Kong? Yep, it can be Kong. And thank you for coming. Um, you're welcome. I, I think my octopus really likes you. <laughs> Um, goodbye, Hazel. Bye. <laughs> well, that's it for us today. Thanks for tuning in, and you know what we always say. Have a spunky, funky, funky day. day.